A downtown Austin rape suspect in jail more than a thousand miles away. We were the first to tell you yesterday how the police solved the year and a half old crime with DNA from another state. KXAN's Aaron Cargill is live now with more on how this arrest happened. Aaron. Well, Leslie, the August 2009 case had grown cold. Austin police say they just came up empty handed. Then four months ago, police in Denver, Colorado made a felony drug arrest. DNA from the suspect went into the national database. It matched DNA collected from the Austin rape. And last night, Austin police tracked 30-year-old Sean Decker down to the small town of Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin. It appears he was setting up a residence or had just set up residency there in that this real small, I guess, rural town in Wisconsin. Austin police say 30-year-old Sean Decker was a drifter who never stayed in one spot long. Where he stopped, mug shots often followed. In 2005, he posed for this booking photo in New Braunfels, where police arrested him for theft and drunk driving. A month later, another mug shot, this time in San Marcos, where he was later convicted of theft. The same year, another theft and DWI conviction in Rockwall, Texas. It was a felony drug arrest in Denver, Colorado in the fall of this year that landed his DNA profile in the national database. Investigators say it matched DNA Austin police collected from a woman who said she was raped here at the rail yard condos in downtown Austin. They now believe Decker's the man in this video taken moments before that attack. It shows a man walking into the parking garage at 301 Congress, where a woman fought him off with mace. So we were very excited about the hit because we were very frustrated because we really had a really intense investigation. Austin police say Decker was hanging around the Arch, a homeless shelter downtown, after the crime, but they could never track him down. The case grew cold. Police were crossing their fingers he'd get caught by making another bad move. Now, because of the violence of it, it's almost like that person's definitely going to trip up again. It's going to get in the system somewhere. Because some states definitely have a lot better um, laws that allow them to gather DNA than we do. Austin police say this is the second rape suspect they've tracked down in two years using DNA generated from a Colorado arrest. You might remember the other cold case involving the so-called ether man rapist who preyed on college women across the country. Reporting live, Aaron Cargill, KXA and Austin News.